<laughs> Welcome to Undisputed. We're live from Los Angeles. I'm Joy Taylor here with Skip Bayless oh, and Shannon Sharp. Good morning, guys. Well, Skip, this was you remember when you asked me why don't I have on Fourth of July colors on the fourth? Well, I was supposed to wear this, but Celeste, aka Autumn, aka you know wardrobe stylist, didn't bring it out, so it's all her fault. So I brought it out today. That's why he looks like he's running for office today. I do probably swear to tell a lie. <laughs> huh? You, you lost me on all of the above. <laughs> and Autumn has always been perfect with me. So I don't know. Did she do that on purpose to you? She, or, you know you what? Know, it's possible she just didn't like the outfit. Whoa, said, whoa. You know? Oh, you throwing Autumn up under the bus. Huh, no, Skip? she's throwing you under the bus. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, Skip, you want to give congratulations to the United States uh, men's national team, soccer. They won the gold cup. Is that why you wore that today? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. We're going we, we to get a... Uh, in the World Cup, we're going to win us a medal. Gold medal. Gold? Cool. Yep. We're going to beat Portugal, Absolutely. and we're going to beat Yes, congratulations Argentina. to US. So did you wear gold medal shoes today? You're not putting them up yet. You know I keep... Oh, we went back to the old ones. I keep them Tom the Ford. boring ones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Skip, what's going on? Huh? I don't know. How's Tom Ford boring? <laughs> How dare know. you speak of him It, it is manner. when you wear it, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's yeah. start at Civil after all the yeah. jobs. Oh, oh, let me give... Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> Watch, watch that cup. No, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Let's get it started with the latest on Kyrie and LeBron. The drama between the Cavs stars continue. Yesterday, Kyrie posted a video on Snapchat singing Coming Home on his flight back to the United States from China. Some viewed that as a shot at LeBron since that song was used repeatedly when LeBron returned to Cleveland. ESPN also reported yesterday that LeBron reached out to Eric Bledsoe and Derrick Rose to work out with him in Vegas. Bledsoe has been rumored to be a part of the possible trade for Kyrie. And back in Cleveland yesterday, they introduced their new general manager, Kobe Altman. Let's take a listen to Altman and Dan Gilbert. I think a lot of it's been overblown. Um, I think the people that are in this building every day haven't seen any of that animosity. Uh, this is, uh, and along with Kevin Love, this is a group that has got us to three straight finals and won an NBA championship together. They play, they play great together on the floor. And a lot of that, I, I do think, is overblown. And we haven't seen uh, a lot of this animosity that's sort of been out there in the media. You expect Kyrie to be in training camp this year when, when the team reports? Do you expect him to be on this team? Yeah. Right now, Kyrie Irving is on a contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers for uh, two or three years, depending on the last year. So uh, as, as of now, I, he's one of our, our best players. And sure, we expect him to be in camp. Skip, what was your mm. take on yesterday's events? My take on yesterday, Mr. Sharp, mm -hmm. dressed so sharply today, <laughs> was that Kyrie and LeBron and Dan Gilbert were all acting like three little kids taunting each other, sending subtle and not so subtle messages back and forth, back and forth. Nah, 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 nah. I got you. No, nah, 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 nah. I got you. Yeah, here we go. So the not-so-subtle shot was first fired by one Kyrie Irving as he sat on his jet returning from China to the United States singing, I'm coming home. Don't tell me he wasn't taking a direct shot at LeBron James. And I'm going to tell you again, Kyrie Irving never got over what happened on July the 11th of 2014 when the bombshell was dropped in Sports Illustrated by LeBron with the big headline, I'm coming home. Last line of that piece written by Lee Jenkins through LeBron's voice was, I'm coming home. And Kyrie was rocked by that because just 11 days earlier on July 1st, <clears throat> Kyrie had committed. He thought that he had a promise. He had verbally committed with Dan Gilbert, I'm yours for the next five years. But in return, I, I want to promise that I'm going to be the man for the next five years. And you know, and I know what happened 11, day, uh, 11 days later. Mm -hmm. And again, I can't condemn Dan Gilbert for, for not saying no to LeBron James because you can't say no to LeBron coming home. But that didn't change things for Kyrie Irving, who lost a lot of trust and respect for Dan Gilbert at that point. And so he is clearly mocking LeBron James at this point. He's making fun of I'm coming home because he wants to burn the bridge completely to the ground, not only between him and LeBron, but between him and Dan Gilbert. 
He wants everybody to know it's impossible that he is done with Dan Gilbert and LeBron and all things Cleveland Cavaliers. He's out. He, there's no, even though he's under contract for two more years, he just wants it known through that. Again, that's a not so subtle message. Subtle. No, it's it's not so subtle. Subliminal. That he's done with LeBron James. Yeah, he's coming Ripley. home. Yeah, he wants to get out of home. <laughs> and that leads us to, uh, of, of course, and I should mention this real quickly. Our man Rob Parker did report yesterday on the show that his source in Cleveland had told him, and I do know his source, that Kyrie was stung a year ago because Dan Gilbert did listen to LeBron and include Kyrie in a potential trade for Chris Paul to come to Cleveland. And I, I get that, but I've told you, I have a source very close to Kyrie who's told me that was just part of, of a bigger picture of what happened on July 11, 2014, what happened last year, and what happened again this year when Kyrie's name was concluded in a lot of trade scenarios this year. Yes. So it was three times that Kyrie says, I'm done with Dan Gilbert. I just don't trust him anymore, and I want out, which leads us back to LeBron James. What was his basic response? LeBron goes to Las Vegas to work out with Derrick Rose and Eric Bledsoe, who, by the way, is a client of the, the ironically called Clutch Sports. Clutch. I, don't, I don't know who Clutch with, is. Who's Clutch in that group? With a K. I, I mean, Maverick is Clutch, Maverick Carter, and I think Rich Paul's pretty Clutch in the deals he makes, but the guy who runs yeah. the company, the CEO, I'm not sure about his Clutch. Rich Paul the CEO. You know? Oh, is he? Okay, yeah. okay. I think there's another CEO. LeBron James made sure that it was leaked to an ESPN reporter that, hey, I'm going to Las Vegas. They could have done it on the slide. They could have done it secretly, but he wants it out there. I'm going to go work out with my two new running mates, Derrick Rose and the guy that I want us to trade for. Because well, who's the most obvious trade partner out there for the Cleveland Cavaliers right now? It's Phoenix. They've got all the young firepower, right? We don't they got that. tradable ass. Yes, you do. No, we don't. LeBron wants Eric Bledsoe. I'm sure he'd love to have Josh Jackson. Would they throw in Josh Jackson? They say they won't, but who knows? With oh, Kyrie on the table? We'll take Booker. Okay. We'll take Booker and Bledsoe. Right. Well, and, and I'm sure at this moment, as we speak, Dan Gilbert is asking for both of those. And Phoenix is saying no, but maybe we'll think about Josh Jackson. I don't know if they will, but, but again, I would, I would think about giving Josh Jackson and Eric Bledsoe for Kyrie because Kyrie's a bad man. He is. You know, he's he's nice. a bad yeah, man. I mean, yeah, he is. So LeBron wanted the message out there to Kyrie is, I've moved on. I'm going to go work out in Las Vegas, and I'm going to make sure that it gets posted on ESPN.com that I'm working out with my new guy, Derrick Rose, and the guy that I want to be my new point guard in Eric Bledsoe. Way to go, LeBron. That's just na 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 na. See, I got my new guys. I'm in Las Vegas, and it's all over the news. Yes, it is. He, he wanted it out there, which brings us full circle to Dan Gilbert, who volunteers in his little media session yesterday. I will say that Indiana could have done better meaning that obviously they say that a trade was on the table, that it had been verbally agreed upon by Kevin Pritchard, the GM of the Indiana Pacers, that would have brought Paul George to Cleveland and sent Kevin Love to Denver, right? Yep. And now you are openly admitting, sort of rubbing it in, just to save your own face, that you wanted to trade Kevin Love. How would you feel if you're Kevin Love right now, that your owner GM is just basically saying, Boy, the, the better deal for us would have been if we had gotten rid of Kevin Love and gotten in Paul George. You should George. feel bad because nobody wanted you. That's oh, what you should feel bad really? about. Oh, so how would you feel if you're Kevin Love and you were all but traded? Now, would you want to go back and play for the Cavaliers? He, I wouldn't. He should feel bad after scoring nine points in game three uh -huh. and six points there in game we go. five. He should feel terrible. Yet he's Awful. the same Kevin Love that you said you would not trade straight up for for Carmelo. Anthony. I wouldn't. Wow, that doesn't make That's a lot of sense. That's two separate things. Paul oh, is it? Paul George and Carmelo oh. are two different people. Oh, so you're saying Paul George is way better than Carmelo? Anthony. I would take Paul George currently Ooh. over Carmelo Anthony. I would not. I would not. You have not seen the best of what's left of Carmelo Anthony until he would be reunited with a better player such as LeBron James. I mean, the last bit, the last bit of uh, 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 meat in the pot is good. I mean, you might can't think about it. That's the best part. Don't nobody want anything. You know the skill, Ernestine. Now you eating. You got a big old piece of fish, and you eating it. Wait, and Ernestine will wait till you get to the almost last bite. 
Skip, can I have a can I have a bite? No, you can't have a bite. If that she knows that's the rule. <laughs> I mean, if I order a piece of fish, I order it because I need the whole piece of fish. Skip, she's not going to get a bite of it. But she knew that from the start. I mean, that's just the way it works. Ernest I don't ask for a bite of hers. Ernest she cooked fish last night. She cooked salmon, and it was just for herself. I don't blame her. I was. don't blame her. Did... Make you cook oh, your own she, food. She did. She did offer me a bite, but I was going to bed. I'd already eaten a long time ago. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So let me get this right. You said Dan Gilbert had promised Kyrie when he signed that contract he was going to be the face of the team. Is that correct? And what are promises like, Skip? What I tell you, my grandfather say promises. Mm. I like pie crust, mm. thin and easily broken. Yeah. So you got a chance. Okay, Kyrie, you're going to be the face of the team. But then here come this old basketball dribbling fool with two two finals. Wins on his resume and four MVP. Yep. Hey, Mr. Uncle. Well, hold on, yeah. Skip. Hold on. Now. The guy come dribbling the basketball mm -hmm. down the street. Yeah. Now, you know all you are, little one, Skip? Mm -hmm. Let's put it like in this context. You know how you play, you know, black top basketball, you choose inside. Mm -hmm. And you might have already told the guy, okay, I got you. But here come the baddest dude on the planet dribbling. Mm -hmm. You know he's special. Mm -hmm. Four MVPs, two final MVPs, four straight finals. Mm -hmm. He dribbling the basketball. Who got next? Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to pick you. Mm -hmm. And that's all Dan Gilbert did, Skip. Mm -hmm. What was he supposed to do? Oh, no, LeBron, I already promised Kyrie he was going to be the face of the team and turn that down? Mm -hmm. Man, you better stop playing, Skip. Mm -hmm. Kyrie. How would you have felt if you were Kyrie Irving? Oh, I'm fine with that. Hold you on, would on. not have been fine hold with on, that. You on. know and I know oh, no. you would have been furious with that. If it was the equal player. Are you trying to say Kyrie and Brian's on the same play? No, deal? I'm not. Okay, then. So that's why you made a deal, a promise to and with Kyrie Irving. Yeah, I can, I well, can unbreak the deal. Okay, well, you broke Somebody it. came along with a better deal. So I okay. took that deal. So Kyrie wants a better deal now because he wants Kyrie, out. Kyrie is not in a position of strength. No, he's not. He has That's two he years he plus a player option for a third. And Dan Gilbert reiterated yesterday he's under contract, and I expect him in training camp. Skip. If I got you tied up, you can't be talking when I get loose. I'm going to bust you up. Mm. You're tied up. You ain't going to do nothing. Mm. You're going to sit there and eat these green beans. That's all I got for you. Mm. LeBron. Skip. LeBron goes and plays pickup basketball with a lot of different players. When have you ever seen him and Kyrie play ball together in the offseason? So what's the big deal? There's a lot of guys out here playing at UCLA. All of them are not teammates. Why are you making a big deal out of what LeBron's doing? LeBron it was classic, passive, oh, aggressive, between-the-lines yeah. message sent by LeBron James. He does it again and again and again. And I told you it's exactly what Kyrie despises about having to play with and around LeBron James. It's drama city. It's some big distraction every night created by LeBron on social media or in comments he makes to the media. And here he goes again. Do you, do you think? How do you think it got out there? You don't think that somebody in LeBron's inner circle no. dropped the what little I tell scoop you, on a reporter? Two people can uh, keep a secret, but what happened to, happen uh, to one of them? Dead. Okay, let me ask, okay, let me ask you this, Skip. Let's just say for the sake of argument, y'all like you know play hypothetical. Stephen A. got he's going to play Pebble Beach, and he got an extra pay. Hey, Skip, you want to go play with me at Pebble Beach? You're not going to turn him down. So he, what is? Oh, hold on, hold on, Skip. Wait, but Stephen A. need like a hundred golf balls to get through yeah. Pebble. Oh, Beach. I'm just saying. He has a pass where he need, he got an extra, you know, you can come along with him. Yeah. So am I supposed to uh, uh am I supposed to believe that Skip Bayless is taking a shot at Chef Sharp by playing Pebble Beach with Stephen A. <laughs> I don't no, I don't Skip, operate that Skip way. I don't, I don't do that. I would just tell you. No sing along <laughs> videos on I'm, I'm happy here. I'm, I'm not making any noise. I I'm, I'm not I'm, dropping any hints. Of, okay. We're rolling, man. Skip, okay, how about this? The man's in the man's in China. Kyrie's in China. He's coming home to America. Oh, okay. And LeBron, that place, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming. Don't, don't sing it. We'll have to Home. Yeah. And he went home. So where's Kyrie going? To the Knicks? Is that the home he's talking about? He may be. Okay, well. He would go to the Knicks because he's got the guts to just go it alone. Well, do it. Go it alone. Carmelo had the guts to go it alone. Mm. How'd that work out for him, Skip? Yeah. Kyrie was going it alone his first four years in, the, in, uh, in Cleveland. Yeah. How'd that work out for him, Skip?
Kyrie was a baby then. He's a man now. LeBron and was. He's way better than Carmelo LeBron, Anthony ever Le, thought about. That. LeBron was a baby winning 60 games. Mm -hmm. 66 games you know, as a baby. He was a man child ah! because he was 6'9", 270. And that's why Dan Gilbert chose a big man. Okay. See, a good big man will beat a good little man uh, okay. all the time. Skip. You know? Especially when the big man is do that. using social media to send cryptic messages Skip. to distract the little man. He ain't distract. You know? All the man want to do is say, I want to get some basketball in. Savannah, you want you want to take the kids to Vegas? Let's go to Vegas. We can unwind, although we just got back from a trip from Mexico. You know, drinking pina colada, but we don't want to go back overseas. Get our passports. Passports mm. just stamped. Mm. He said, I'm going to go to Vegas. Have us a go. D. Rose. I need you to blossom for me this year. Come on to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bledsoe, you in the family. We work, we're in the same uh, umbrella. Okay. Come on out here. Let's get him. shoot around a little bit. Okay. It's okay. It's yeah. all good. Let's get our chemistry going for next year. Oh, stop, Skip. You, you know it, and I, I don't know, know it. nothing. That's what he wants. Kyrie. He's saying, I don't need me any Kyrie. I got D Rose, and I got me some Bledsoe. Until I see that number two in a Knicks jersey, mm -hmm. my son's jersey, mm -hmm. well, he can't be number two in. San Antonio, because that's already taken. Mm. Well, maybe he can strong arm Kyrie out of that number two. Mm. And so until Kawhi, I see Kawhi, excuse yeah. me. Until, Ka see, Kawhi is low to no ego, so he would just welcome uh, Kyrie in and say, if you want two, you can have two. That's how I he operates. I bet he don't. He's a co star. He, he would say, I'll do whatever it takes it's, to sacrifice to get Kyrie it's, happy. Hold on, he should. Yeah. He's not LeBron. No. See, Kawhi doesn't even speak to the media. He's not on he ain't gonna social say media. He ain't gonna that say is nothing. correct. So you don't have to worry about distractions in San Antonio because Kawhi is the quietest, most unassuming superstar since Tim Duncan. Who knew? It's another one. Well, yeah, boring. But here's the thing. Yeah, yeah, we got saying a, you want uh, LeBron to go to San Antonio, right? We got. We got. Here's the thing with uh, with LeBron. LeBron, we building a brand. We got to talk and tell you about our brand. Mm. So that's what LeBron, that's all LeBron's talking. LeBron don't do a whole lot of talking just to talk. Me and him was hanging out the other day, he didn't say about three words. Normally when he's talking, he's talking business. Because mm. he a business man. Mm. And you know that. Now he about that business of winning championship. Now Kyrie, now, before I get to Kyrie, they didn't deny that Kyrie went to Dan Gilbert's office with his representative mm -hmm. and said he wanted a trade. Correct. They're saying the animosity that's being portrayed is not as bad as what we're portraying it. Kobe and Shaq said the exact same thing. Ain't no beef going on. Shaq picking Kobe up. Kobe jumping on Shaq back, picking all that. But if it, my grandma used to say, boy, if it don't come out in the wash, it'll come out in the rinse. Mm -hmm. And come to find out, Kobe and Shaq, it was worse than we thought. So this might be a situation that is worse than we thought. But if I'm Dan Gilbert, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to keep Kyrie in the folds. That means LeBron, Minus Rich Paul, minus Maverick Carter, Kyrie Irving, um, minus your representative. You two guys get on a plane, but y'all going somewhere. And when we come, when you come back, either we can or we can't. Oh, so you're afraid to go without Kyrie then? I'm just, you, skip, oh, so skip. You, you, you want to kiss and make up? No, no, you I'm, want I'm him back. Skip. I believe that Kyrie Irving gives us the best chance to win mm -hmm. a championship no in the that. Golden State Warriors. Mm -hmm. I don't believe we can get equal value back. But if he's unwilling, skip. If you if if somebody doesn't want to be with you, there's not. not enough diamonds, mm -hmm. there's not enough fur, there's nope. not enough cars and trip you can take mm -hmm. that's going to want to make them stay. You can question a lot of things about Kyrie Irving. You can question his defense or sometimes his shot selection or his pouting after games, mm -hmm. or taking losing way too psycho hard. But one thing you can't question about Kyrie is his character. High character, huge pride, big backbone. Yeah. Once he digs in and he tells you, I'm out, he didn't he's say that. Out. He didn't say he was out. Well, he and the greater and, and the greater the player, Skip, yep. well, with it, not just players, but the greater the person, be it an entertainer, a celebrity, yep. the more pride that they have. Mm -hmm. And so... I'm going to have LeBron, I'm saying Dan, Dan Gilbert, as the boss of both men, say, look, y'all get together, and when you come out of the room, either we can or we can't move forward. But whenever the case, we're going to make sure, I'm going to make sure I exhaust all the opportunities. I'm not going to just go it away because so Skip Bayless is say, mm. yeah, Bron, you ran somebody else off. Mm. Let's see you do it now. Mm.
I'm so, saying it now because it's happening. It ain't going to happen. Yeah, it is. It ain't going to happen. Well, you the, got a case the, to do? The, the, no, I won't do that. Well, although you said it's happening. But I was going to say, the Vegas odds are even money that Kyrie will stay because, as you said, He's he's got no leverage here. Hold on, you he's listen under to contract for I, two more years. Hold up, why you listen to Vegas? All Dan Gilbert has to say is they, they don't even have to meet and kiss and make up. He can just say, I don't care. Camp starts then. No, be there. he gotta meet. I'm telling you, as your boss, mm. you gotta meet. Mm. I don't think he can tell Kyrie. Early I bet he can. can. I bet he can. I bet he can. Mm. I bet Kyrie better show up. Mm. Everything LeBron does is calculated. No. It's not an accident that okay, he's I'll, there with Okay, I'll bet you a case to do Kyrie will not be a Cavalier next year. I bet he starts training camp. I bet, oh, oh he's going to play the regular season. Now, he might get traded to the deadline, but he's going to be He will not finish the regular season no, next year. No. Huh? So somebody, might, that? somebody might blow us away. We might get a Boogie Cousin or Anthony oh, Davis. okay. And we so, got to let him go. We got to let him go. <laughs> we got to leave it there. Will the NFL suspend Ezekiel Elliott? We'll discuss that next. <laughs>